All right, here okay, we go. So stick in your gut all the time when you're taxiing. So just go straight, straight there. Uh, straight like you're going to go right into this corner of that hangar. Okay. Straight. And then you've got a little swale right here that you'll see. See that little swale? Yeah. Uh -huh. As soon as you get down that little swale, you can swing your nose around toward those two oak trees. You don't have to taxi toward them. Just get the nose around so you're not blasting the uh, hangar with the prop when we do the run-up. Like I said, it takes about, well, it takes whatever it takes to get it rolling. Then after it's rolling, it takes about 1,200 to, to 1,100. To to this, to this is a vernier. It's a vernier. You can screw it in. Yeah. Okay. As you come down the hill, just uh, drag the brake and get yourself turned around there. When you get where you want to go, just touch the other brake, and that'll stop you. There you go. Okay. That's good, right there. Okay, okay. brakes are okay. set. All right, so now we can do the uh, step to uh, mag check. Okay, uh, altimeter set. We got that mag check, 1,800 RPM. Yeah, altimeter is about 38 feet. We got that. RPM, yeah. oh, here it is. And use your, yeah, use your vernier to get a feel for how, how sensitive it is. And 1,800 is pretty high, so hold your brakes real good. This is a dual, this is a dual single Bendix mag, and it tests at 1,800. Okay. Close 18. your, I'll go ahead and give you your mag check. Okay. okay. There's your left. Okay, there's about 100. Back to both. There's your right. They're about the, exactly the same. Back to both. Okay. okay. Engines, instruments are... Here's your, here's your carburetor heat down here. Okay. Not uh, much, but... No. It's, so it's really, it's really more of an alternate air than it is carburetor heat. Oil's good, amp's good, oil's good, temp, temp. Temp's haven't come up quite yet. Both are showing good. Do you have any suction or anything? Yeah, here's your vacuum right here. Okay. There's your vacuum. Okay. It's looking good. Okay. Come back down to about eight, nine, 800 RPM or so. You notice the airplane's idling very low when you pull all the way back on there. Feel that old sink come in there? Yeah. Yeah. They're real honest airplanes. They'll let you know when they're going to start to sink. And some of that can be because of thermals, and some of it could be because cause you weren't really all that slow. Yeah. There yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Six seven five two five Bravo one short final runway one four. Uh, you'll notice when you get down here close to the ground that turbulence is going to go away. I'm carrying a little take, extra speed. Take, here. Take, 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 down, take, down, take, down, take your speed okay. down the runway. There you go. Yeah, right on down, right on down. Now do a real gradual, gradual rest. Now start coming out here and get rid of your power. Uh, don't let it land. Don't let it land. Don't let it land. Don't let it land. Don't let it stay close. Stay close. Don't let it land. Don't let it land. Don't let it land. Okay. Oh, what you got? Ice landing. Don't let, don't let your nose pick up too high. Just just hold it. Just light. Just light. Gonna get a little bump. Okay. There you go. Stabilize that nose right there. Hold that center line and she'll let her fly off on her own there. Okay, so we have a turkey, 745 miles, I turned in left face, left cross, left for runway 14. That was a good one. Better. Yeah, yeah. Used a lot of runway, but it was good. Yeah, well, <laughs> we, we brought a little energy down to the runway with us, which is okay in, a, in turbulent conditions, but you just have to be prepared to float a little while, you know, look at it, dissipate the energy, because if you try to put it down too soon, you're going to go back in the air. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. That is just... And experiment on 675 Juliet. Make that 557 Juliet Bravo. Uh, we're going to turn inside you on the downwind and hold a nice tight pattern. We're a lot faster than you are there. So just keep on where you are and we'll be inside of you. We'll be in front of you. That's for the Cherokee turning downwind. Okay, so we have the Cherokee 745 on the outside. Join left downwind for one. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this just right. Yeah, okay. And we'll keep it tight. Yeah, yeah, right right here, just yeah, you okay. don't have to get farther out. Just right here. You're gonna pass him in a few seconds anyway.
fast as you are, uh, so we're just going to go with flat tight pattern. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a little nicer. Yeah. So, if you if you find yourself high and you want to lose altitude, the maximum loss of altitude is going to come with uh, full flaps at 90 miles an hour. I think okay. we demonstrated that a while ago. Okay, traffic to Okie Sound for five miles. I turn in left. than 85, so take it down the runway, a little power, a little power, take it to the runway, yeah, a little power, look at the numbers, a little power, there you go, yeah, take it to the numbers. Look at the coffee truck, 7 for 5 on miles, I turn in, fine, I'm for runway, 1 for power, don't, don't start flaring it up here, go down close to your runway, now, now don't let it land, don't let it land, stay close, stay close, don't let it land, stay close, don't let it land, stay close, stay close, there you go, see, there you go, nice job, okay, up, dump your flaps, Yeah, once you're off. Once. Uh, <laughs> hey, you got two out of that one. Well, <laughs> once, you're, once you're off, hold it off. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was moving my foot off the rudder so I wouldn't drag the brake, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I just want to practice the landing attitude. <laughs> there you go. They got a nice one on the second one. Yeah. That's, that's what we call a little skip, <laughs> an on-purpose skip. Yeah, you'll find that you can just do anything you want on a landing on these airplanes. I mean, they just have such controllability. I'm going to let you do one more, and then I'm going to do a couple uh, so that you can tell me each time we're going to touch down, okay? Okay. And that way you can concentrate on looking out there without having to worry about flying the airplane, and you can kind of cement that sight picture in your head. He's just now on short file and we're turning down. Man. Center line, and she'll let her 
fly off on her own there. Okay, so we stop at Turkey, so we're from 5 miles, I turn in left base, so I'm going to let cross wind for around with one fork. That was a good one, Kelly. Better. Yeah. yeah. Used a lot of runway, but it was good. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we, we brought a little energy down to the runway with us, which is okay in, a, in turbulent conditions, but you just have to be prepared to float a little while, you know, look at it, dissipate the energy, because if you try to put it down too soon, you're going to go back in the air. Yeah. Now, uh, once I come off the rudder, okay. you've got the controls. Okay. <laughs> That's the only thing I have in there that you really can't feel. Yeah, we got a lot but, of dive but, bomber but, birds out here. Yeah, right. But as long as it watches, watch this one. Go, go, go. Don't go under them. There you go. Because those buzzards, at about 20 feet, they'll dive on you. It's a natural instinct they have. All right, we got plenty of out, plenty of air speed. Let's convert it to altitude. And this lost power. Okay. Pull your nose up to 100. Now put your nose down to 100 and start turning back to the airport. Keep your nose down to 100. 557 Juliet Bravo is doing a lost power return to field maneuver. Will not land. Fly my 100. Fly my 98. Don't fly 110. Will not land. Turning back to runway 33. Will not land. Fly that 98. No flaps. Got, got this made, don't we? Yep. Uh, come on, swing over here and get lined up a little better. We'd have to put in some flaps to get down there, wouldn't we? Okay, let's go. Wow, you could. Let's go, yeah. Yep. Bob, back up, Jeff. 557 Juliet Bob is climbing back up into the downwind off of the loss of power return to field maneuver, and we will be downwind for runway 14. Let's go at Okeechobee. Oh, that was 400? So, so, so there's, huh? How, what was the altitude? Oh, there? we were about 600 on that one. Okay, we have plenty. Yeah. Turn base. Yep. Uh, if you do find yourself high in an RV, you don't want to dive for the runway. You want to slow them up and sink them to the runway. I mean, by full flap to 90, you are actually kind of dive into the runway, but you're keeping your energy up there. Looking pretty good right there. I just a tad of power in right there, about 100 RPM. Oh, right there, right there. Now, keep looking at those numbers, a little more power. A little more power, and you can keep looking at those numbers. There you go, there you go. Put your nose down, look at those numbers. Put your nose down, look at those numbers. Go to the runway, go to the runway, go to the runway. A little, little bit of power, yeah. All right. Now, get closer. Now, hold it off. Hold it off, hold it off. Don't let it land. Don't let it land. Don't, don't. There you go, there you go, there you go. You there tell, go. You there tell you go. me if you there know which go. time it lands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that. I That's don't not get, bad. No, that was a good one. Yeah. We'll, we'll go past this bump here. Yeah. No, well, no you, get off, you get off for the bump. Check mark 646, Fox Drive, Tank Gun, drink left down. Steady pressure, one, now four. pull. <laughs> Need a little more rudder there. Yeah. Yeah, that old P factor will jump on you on them real quick. I mean, it, it even catches me every now and then when I'm falling asleep on takeoff or something. You gotta fly RVs all the time. You can't. You can't just. You can't ride around in them. I tell them all my lectures that I give. I tell folks you just can't go for a ride in an RV. You gotta fly it.